Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. I'm getting my hair done today. I'm going to catch my Uber right now. I'll talk to you guys. Hi you guys, it is now like 3 o'clock and I just finished up getting my hair done. Sorry the intro to this vlog today was so rushed. Um, my appointment was like kind of early and so I was just rushing to get out the door honestly and then I took an Uber so I didn't like film in the Uber. But yeah, I just finished up and <laughs> the vlogging in public is always an interesting thing. <laughs> people walk right by you. I got my cut and my color done. I go to Planet Salon. I'm heading to Toast to meet up with my manager and my friend Katie. I'm super excited for this Toast experience. It's about to be great. Yes. We are here. We are here. This is my woman. You guys have never met the beautiful Katie. I haven't seen you since May. I know we haven't seen you, but I was telling Lindsay like seeing you now feels like we were just hanging out. Yeah, like, it I does because we were just her. like somewhere like on Jones on Third the last time we saw each other. Now we're at Toast. I always see her if she gets her hair blown out. So she's yes, always just, like yes. there's always she always breeze. sees the fresh the fresh dew if you will. If you but will. she didn't see the before. You guys saw the before. Yeah. Oh, I just napkin that my away. my little straw thing just. <laughs> Blew off the table, but yeah. we are here. Um, what's your veto on the vanilla blended? I need an honest. Oh yeah, so we have is a it, is it good? I just, just got here a few minutes ago, and she was a little stressed because I got an extra shot in it. It was too much. You get one, so it's kind of like being at Starbucks and being like, extra shot, please. Yeah. And we both love to be caffeinated, so I wanted to go with what she got. You wanted to go to reach the same level as me. I do, but I also <laughs> was like, I feel like I should get the normal amount because I've never ordered this before. Yeah. And see where that takes okay. me. And honestly, it's pretty good, I mean, right? It's, it's not like that strong. Frosty. But it's like young. It's I young. feel like I prefer that as compared to the the iced. I don't know why. I just yeah. no. I usually get the it's like it's less latte. watery. My my judge of it's good is at the end if my hands are kind of like doing. Really okay, so maybe We're after like one back. or two more, yeah. we'll circle back. Yeah, I'm gonna have a fry. All right, please help yourself to a fry because they're unreal. I knew. So that this Lindsay is the Capri sandwich. Get along when she also gets ranch with her fries. Yay. I get a lot of shit from people saying that it's just mayo with seasoning. You don't need those people in your life. I honestly don't even eat mayo, so I don't know what they're talking about. I don't think that's true. These fries are like if McDonald's yeah. reinvented itself and rebranded itself as something nicer. <laughs> that would be. They're so good. These and LA Cafe fries ruined my life, my entire I think life. LA Cafe is better. I've actually never had like the fresh LA okay. Cafe fries. Um, LA Cafe saying. fries, they season them 18 times. So I'm just shoving the camera in your face this whole time. 18 times. Literally 18. So honestly, these are incredible. I would say they're pretty much both like up there for me as like life-changing fry experiences. <laughs> but <laughs> she got a kick out of that. You. But like you just, <laughs> you just understand like we are one. Who is not passionate about potatoes? Because if you're not, oh my god, honestly, please so unsubscribe. Versatile. You can do so many. I woke up last night. 2 a.m. I kid you not. I had like a that's so raven like <gasps> vision moment and I made tater tots. Oh shit. Wow. And I eat them with Cholula actually. I'm like the, a Cholula. What the heck beans. is that? I don't know what that is. Hot sauce. Oh. Oh, it's right here. Oh. Okay. 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 Cool? Yep, 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 yep. I'm like already on one yep. <laughs> from this iced coffee. No. I'm already like, fucked up. Like, watch this. Couch. Like, this is. Oh. No, like. Katie. 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 Are you alright? Are you drunk? <laughs> I do this everywhere I go and it freaks my friends out. They're always like, good? like, are you drunk? It's divine. <laughs> that was iconic. I'm gonna like eat this because I'm hungry. Yeah, don't mind me. But, Hello. We probably haven't talked to you in like two hours because we've just been We're on to another caffeinating. Drink. We've been caffeinating we've and we have been just we've been caffeinating. things. Getting in a good head space for things. Yes. Which so is always good. So we have decided Megan also manages Katie and manages my what did I just say? Megan manages Katie. She does, kind of, in some ways. Katie manages <laughs> Megan and myself. I am uh, kind of fucked up right now. I got on that caffeine. Yeah, we had a we had another um, so, dramatic moment with we had soy milk originally, <laughs> and it was getting them. real. 
Lindsay poured it in and it got real chunky real quick. It was quick. like all just dots <laughs> and, and I'm stirring it. it. Has that ever happened to you? So I'm like, it occasionally. Oh, it was so unsettling. What did he say? Same, me too. What did he even say? For sure. People see a camera and they're just like trying to get But what did everything. he say? We may never know what was said. I have no idea what that man said. If you guys can like figure out what he just screamed out of his car, I would down, love it. Down, down. We have a nice man coming for Lindsay. Benjamin is coming for me. He's wearing a tuxedo. And he's a 4.9. Oh, that's really good that he's a 4.9. Yeah, that makes me feel um, better about Uber, this. we just were talking about this. Uber started telling you how much your ride is going to be before you even get in the car. I mean, which is really cool. Like, well, you could always do the fair estimate, but now yeah. it actually just tells you like your rate is going to be this. So it's going to only take me $15 to get back downtown, which the is pretty good. Is right. That's actually really good because it's going to take me like 45 minutes. But this was an amazing meeting. Next week, we're going to meet up with Katie again with Megan. We just decided. Yeah, I need both so of them. You guys will be seeing her again in Sister Summer next week. I've kind of also made myself like the third honorary Hughes sister. Like, I feel that way about very... you. Katie's one year older than me, so like you're that you're yeah. that person in my life. Yeah, and like the thing is, I've been watching Lindsay and Megan since they both started their channel. So it's kind of love crazy. Don't you love Megan? M A Y G A N. Yeah, I do say it weird. I've realized that. Like, One of our Meg, other friends. I call her is Meg or Megan. Megan. But Megan. I love that. I love that. Megan. That's so true. And now that I'm gonna notice it, I'm always gonna say it and then like Megan. Double like overthink it. Uh, oh, the drama, come on, man. But um, we have a lot of leftovers. We both got the same thing. That I did. Katie terrible. like did a really bad job at eating it. <laughs> But apparently she liked it. So. I loved it. Just, no, she ate Chipotle. A few I just hours got. Ago. She fed me so much with her conversation and our ideas. Yeah, so like, guys, Katie gets really. Well, we both get really, really wrapped up in our conversation. We just like, like we were here for legitimately two and a half hours. It makes sense. So that's iconic. And now we're just filming you. like a three-minute vlog clip of us just <laughs> going on. So I think I'm gonna exit. I think that's my man, actually. Oh my god. Um, I think that's him. So Yo. bye, Katie. Everything just happened. Until next. Bye. Time. Okay, so I am home now, and I put my camera up on my tripod because I was actually just filming. I started filming a try on haul come up here please come up here thank you and I um, I don't even know if I'm gonna include this clip in the vlog but I kind of felt like just talking about something but I kind of felt like just talking and this is gonna probably be me totally scatterbrained if you don't want to listen to my scatterbrained self just go on about something then you can fast forward in the vlog here until this clip is over. I started filming a try on haul because I have a bunch of stuff that I've been wanting to show you guys because I've done some shopping and gotten some stuff in the mail. I was like, oh, of course I want to film a haul and that'll be like my first video back um, on my main channel because I haven't uploaded in a really, really, really long time, which um, definitely is something that happens to me a lot. Uh, and I don't even realize it because I don't have a video schedule. This is just me talking about stuff that I've talked about to you guys a lot of times. So I really just need to like talk to someone about it. I got home and I have been film starting to film my try on haul. So I have a lot of stuff on um, clothes and I kind of wanted to make it a try on because I know that you guys like seeing those better and especially because I kind of like want to show you what the stuff looks like on. So I decided I would film the try on portion before the sit down portion where I'm just like showing you guys everything, right? I didn't think it would take me so long but I only probably got maybe not even halfway through trying on my stuff and I have no idea why it's taken me like an hour and a half to get like what I've gotten so far. I was messing with the lighting and stuff because it's dark outside so I'm filming with like a light. This is literally just me rambling uh, but it does have a point. Basically I couldn't, I'm like, I got really frustrated because I was trying to like get some certain shots of like a pair of shoes. It sounds so silly, but like I can't get like the good shot and my tripod's pissing me off and I'm like realized that this is this whole process of just me filming the try on portion of this haul is like making me mad and making me frustrated and not making me happy. And so I kind of like sat down and I decided to take a little break because I was like, I'm just feeling weird right now about filming and I don't really ever feel like this. Um, why do I feel this way? Why do I feel like it's a hassle for me to film a freaking try on haul? Like I love watching try on hauls, you know what I mean? I love seeing what the stuff looks like. So I just am having like, I feel like I have these silly like battles with myself because I'm always trying to like 
just do in my life what makes me happy but also like what obviously for my channels what i think is gonna make you guys happy um so like the balance of that but also i understand like having a job is having a job and a lot of people don't enjoy their jobs and a lot of people have like very um very fucking hard jobs like insane right but i kind of think of work as something that is something that i always want to enjoy and i never have wanted to work a nine to five job in my entire life like i kind of would like to not really ever do that i mean at this at least at this point in my life maybe you know i'll want that like down the road like a job where you go into the office and it's like nine to five same thing every day um but that is why i love creating so much and i love being able to just like do what makes me happy and i guess i struggle with this thing of like okay well what's making me happy i guess is different than what some of the content that used to make me happy to make or make you guys happy to see um two years ago or something like that so i honestly feel like for the past fucking like over a year um and going on into this year i'm sure you guys can see when you watch my vlogs when i vent about this because i vent about this topic all the time just like me not like being motivated and happy with what i'm doing on my main channel and um it's really weird because i feel like on this channel it's like the complete opposite mindset especially when i'm vlogging every other day like i love this shit i fucking love filming this much for you guys giving you so many vlogs even if like yeah some of them are better than others but that's like how it is gonna be when you vlog every other day and i think i this is taking me so long to get to the point of what I'm fucking saying. When I edit this, I might cut out a bunch of this shit. Uh, sorry, I'm cussing. I'm sorry. I sometimes just get passionate. I'm freaking freezing, but I'm too lazy to like get up and turn off my things. I'm just like cuddling this blanket. I think my favorite part about YouTube and you guys and what I do on here and filming is having a connection with you guys and I think I really only have that connection when I'm speaking to the camera like I am right now for me I feel very disconnected from the camera when somebody is like filming me and I'm maybe doing like a lookbook or even if I'm doing like a tutorial and it's not me talking and I'm just like filming me doing a look right or a, a routine video anything where I realize that I'm not directly speaking to the camera and like talking to you guys and feeling like i'm talking to you guys that like we're just fucking having coffee or like you're my friend and we're catching up um i think that's why i like vlogging so much and yeah maybe my style is like boring compared to like so many people that just film incredible shots and stuff like that because like i watch that stuff and i'm so impressed and so amazed and i love watching stuff like that sometimes yeah i want to have stuff like that um, and I do, like when I, you know, will add music or I'll film stuff in my vlogs and then add music to it or like whatever. Like, yeah, I like to mix that stuff in, but I guess it's not the same for me creating types of videos that I, when I film stuff, that's not me talking to the camera. That's why I always have liked to film sit down haul videos or like favorites videos or um whatever it is and the vlogs that i do so this is just me completely talking to you guys not knowing what i was gonna say and i feel like this full moon right now is fucking with me yesterday i was in the weirdest mood and today i was in a pretty good mood but then i started like having ha when it got dark i don't fucking know i mean it's not a full moon tonight sorry i'm saying the f-bomb so much i need to like stop because sometimes i'll be watching my vlog and i'm like wow i never used to do that and now i'm like really really doing that um it's not intentional i guess my point in all of this is i have seen some of you guys's comments I actually haven't read comments on my main channel in a really long time um which just kind of goes to show how disconnected i feel right now from it and i don't mean that in any way that's like i don't think that my main channel is like a huge part of my life because it's always going to be like such a huge part of my life and a huge passion in my life i guess i just sometimes struggle with my youtube life and then my 
my real life and what is making me the happiest and feel the most fulfilled and i think it's been more of an internal struggle um in the past year or two than anything it hasn't even really been much of you guys or what other people are doing necessarily i mean that stuff all feeds into it but i think it's like just a thing with myself and i think it's like a big problem for me i think for the past year year and a half a large amount of time i kind of have been going through a quarter life crisis or something of the sort of just like when someone asks me what do you see yourself doing in 10 years five years what do you see yourself doing after this whole youtube thing i can never really answer that question i always just say i just want to be able to connect and ins positively impact as many people in the world as possible that's legitimately kind of what i say to that question but i have no idea i have no idea what my my calling in this life is and that's a really i mean i feel like everyone kind of goes through that being like what am i doing what am i doing but i have been going through that for a long freaking time and especially what am i doing with my youtube channel that i like reached a million subscribers last year and like just haven't even been growing since that point and it's such a thing with myself that i try to like push back and put, like say that it doesn't that it doesn't bother me and it just makes me sad because i know it's all myself it's all my doing like i know what i could be doing but i guess i just I'm not doing it because I don't think that it's gonna make me happier to have more subscribers and to have more viewers and to create videos that I guess I are different than what I it's hard because I don't even know what I want to create on that channel anymore like I have ideas of stuff but I don't actually get very motivated to very often to sit down and film a video which is why i haven't uploaded a video and i've just been vlogging because i always feel motivated to vlog i always like this style of just like it's raw it's real it's i hope it's relatable in some ways not always but i hope to you guys that i can feel like a a friend like a relatable real fucking girl you just want to feel like i'm your friend if you don't have somebody always there you can just like come watch one of my videos and hopefully like hopefully feel a little bit better i mean i don't want you to watch my my videos or my vlogs if they don't make you feel uplifted you know what i mean like that is my that is my ultimate goal and obviously obviously some videos are gonna you know do that more than others i don't know if i'm gonna put this in the vlog um i want to put it in the vlog but i feel like you guys are gonna be watching like what is she saying i don't know if it was the full moon last night or whatever but i feel thrown off i feel weird i feel like i should not continue filming this video because it's just not making me happy at this point don't get me wrong i love filming haul videos i love sitting down and like sharing my stuff and talking about it and i'm really excited to show you guys this stuff maybe i will end up doing it in a vlog but i kind of like i said i wanted this to be like a good like collective summer haul try on all that kind of stuff so and i do already have a lot of the clips so it really comes from a place of like if what i'm doing isn't making me happy what is the point point? and like you guys are gonna see that i think i need to figure out and i've been saying this for so and you guys tell me this too whenever i talk about like oh my god i don't feel motivated i'm sorry like i don't know what to do blah 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 you guys always just tell me like fake like make make the content that makes you happy and it sounds so simple right it sounds so simple I mean vlogs make me happy that's basically all i watch on youtube actually anymore i don't really watch anyone's videos besides like my sisters maybe a couple other people's but other than that i just watch vlogs and that leaves me with sorry this is a whole other topic that i was talking to katie about today at lunch when i was like i don't know what to do because i have always struggled with having two channels because one of them is always neglected so sister summer for the past two months has been editing 
uploading one day the other day filming so it's been every single day for the past two months you know what i mean and i'm not being like oh my god it's so hard because i have a lot of fucking time to do other things um but that has been i guess what i've been focused on and i am very focused on this channel and i struggle with being able to be focused and consistent on two channels i always have i always have struggled with that i used to be better at it i think so then it makes me be like okay i want to vlog that's what i feel like i'm here on youtube to do vlog connect with you guys sh just share my life with you guys essentially and um you know create a community like that is what it is all about for me is like creating a community and like our family that we have and start to like know you guys' names and like recognize your usernames and comment back to you guys like i always do that and that's like my favorite part is hearing you guys' feedback this is an 18 minute long clip and i'm going to see myself out because i've I'm talking about probably the same things just in a circle. So thank you for listening to that. You guys, I would need to make a public service announcement or a public vlog announcement that Jolly Rancher chews are so freaking good. Pepper pile, just relatable things. Um, no, these are amazing, and I got two Amazon packages today, and I, like, broke into them, and I actually wasn't even going to open them, and I'm so glad I did, because I was having a candy craving, and then I just got to start eating these, and I actually forgot that I ordered them, so I'm pretty glad that I did that the other day. Just kind of chilling out, and getting out of my weird mood thank you guys for uh listening i can't believe that was such a long clip but at the same time i uh, i feel like when i talk to you guys like that it's literally like the same thing as me calling a friend or like sitting down and talking with a friend or with megan and just expressing how i feel about everything but it's kind of like there's no one speaking to me so it's just like me going on about how i feel um, but just thank you guys for just allowing me to to be myself and to feel Things and just to express how I feel and to just be real with you guys and like to be able to like get Emotional and personal on camera because that's really what this channel is And I get so deep with you guys and I don't even I really don't even plan to it just honestly happens when I start talking about Stuff that's on my mind. So yeah, I think you know, I'm just feeling weird from this like full moon or whatever but also just trusting how i'm feeling about things and um i know that everything is always gonna work out and i know that i'm living my life the way to that's making me you know the happiest and most fulfilled because that's that's my goal at the end of every day like i said in a couple of vlogs ago i think I think your happiness comes first and you have to be selfish sometimes not in a way that's like trying to make other people not happy but just me doing what's right for me at the current time in my life and sometimes that affects youtube and affects me posting because sometimes i just am a lot more motivated and like excited to film for others but please know that whenever i do upload like a video i'm very very like excited about it and happy with it and that's like the only things that i put out i'm doing it again i'm ranting again it is next day now. Thank you guys for watching. This is the end of the vlog. I forgot to film an outro last night. Classic. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you so much. Give this vlog a thumbs up if you did enjoy. And I will see you guys for tomorrow's vlog.